I am Dr. Reddy. I'm Program Director for Pulmonary and Critical Care Medicine Fellowship at Reading Hospital. This program is a three-year um, fellowship which has been approved by ACGME. Uh, the fellows will have ample amount of time to rotate through various ICUs, uh, which include uh, medical ICU, surgical ICUs, trauma ICUs, neurocritical care, CT surgeries, and cardiac units. And they also have significant amount of time they'll be spending in pulmonary pathology, both inpatient and outpatient. Our faculty are definitely very friendly. They're very approachable. They can be their role models. They, you can find good mentors in our faculty. Our faculty is young and dynamic. We are very involved in teaching uh, our fellows. That's what I enjoy the most. And we do have state-of-the-art bronchoscopy suites, so we all enjoy teaching them the procedures, both in the ICU and also in the bronchoscopy suite. So we have advanced bronchoscopy, which includes EBUS, navigation bronchoscopy, we do fiducial placements, and we also work closely with CT surgery to do debulking of the tumors. Uh, we do cryotherapies and stent placements. In the ICU, you would be interacting with multiple other subspecialties, especially cardiology, uh, infectious disease, and also surgery. It's been great working with everybody in our field. Our group has been really very friendly, very supportive, and at the same time, working with all the other departments have been very easy. You call them for consults, they respond on time, they come and see the patients, they interact with you, they discuss with you about the patients, it's been very good. So we have uh, more than 30,000 admissions at Reading Hospital per year, which is a lot. And patient visits in the ER is up to 122K per year. That's a lot too. There have been around 9,000 um, inpatient surgeries, more than 10 patient out outpatient surgeries. So we do have good patient volume at Reading Hospital. The fellows will see it all. They'll get experience based on all the lung pathology that they have to learn. There's definitely a culture for learning. So. Um, it goes from attending to the fellows, to the residents, to the medical students. It's just like your kids. You see them doing something when they were a baby and then they get over it, they learn it better and they do the best. <laughs> so it's the same thing you see with the fellows. It's a learning curve for them. Uh, I see the sense of pride that I get when I see the fellows performing the whole procedure themselves. We encourage autonomy for the fellows here and we want them to gain as much experience in their first year and going through the fellowship. When you're rotating in the ICU, you would start your day at 7 a.m. in the morning. Uh, you would round on the patients before the actual round starts. And we would start the rounds approximately around 9, and the rounds can go up to noon, depending on how busy the service is. And uh, end of the day, we would round again uh, the second time, depending on how sick the patients are, and by 6 p.m., uh, we would end the shift. Uh, fellows, when they're working night shift, they would take um, the night call until 7 a.m. in the morning. This is when they're rotating in the ICU. When you're on the console service on the pulmonary side, you would start your day again at 7 a.m. and you would finish your day around 5 p.m., depending on the number of consoles. And fellows will also have uh, multiple other rotations, which include research rotations, uh, we do have an affiliation with Drexel University, which would be of very beneficial for the fellows in terms of clinical experience and research. We're not working 24 seven, we do shift work. So we, we work in the ICU in the morning and then someone else comes over the night, take over the shift, which is so much easier. You can get back, to, you can get back home, you can spend time with your family and kids. So the cost of living at Reading is lower than what we expect uh, compared to other metropolitan areas. So when we look at the U.S. Uh, average cost of living, if you, qual if you grade that as 100, uh, Reading has been rated as 76.9. That means the, quali uh, the cost of living in Reading is much lower. We want to train the fellows um, in a way that they would pursue their career in the future. They, ha they have to be independent enough to practice on their own when they're out of three years. And we can assure you that they can do that after three years of fellowship. Clinically, they would be strong. While you're a fellow here at Reading Hospital, you'll learn how to take care of the patients, how to treat them, how to manage them. You'll be clinically strong at the end of your fellowship. At the same time, procedurally, both ICU procedures and pulmonary procedures, you'll be good at it to take care of the patients. We are very passionate about what we do here. Um, we love the work we do. When it truly helped the patient and it made a difference for them in their treatments, I would think that's the best day of my life.